I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video, I've been requested a lot to do, and that is tranexamic acid versus alpha arbutin for pigmentation. Can you layer them? Which one's stronger? What are the best percentages? Should you avoid them together? If you had to choose one, which one would it be? So um, they're both very popular ingredients. And I think in recent, if really in the last 12 months, I'd say um, tranexamic acid has you know, become almost as popular as alpha arbutin. It's been very, very quick. So as you know, I'm a specialist for pigmentation, specifically for skin of color. The reason being that skin of color, our skin reacts very differently to Caucasian skin. So for us, one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. Our melanocytes are larger. Those are cells that produce a pigment melanin and they are easily triggered if we cause any form of inflammation. And this is the reason this whole channel exists is so that I can teach you which products are worth your money and which ones to maybe sidestep. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored. They will never be sponsored. This is a video library for us and for our children. Right, so let's get cracking on tranexamic acid versus alpha RB10. If that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. Right, so let's start off with alpha arbutin. So alpha arbutin is an excellent tyrosinase inhibitor. So what is a tyrosinase inhibitor? It's basically something that will slow down the rate of the enzyme tyrosinase. Tyrosinase is needed to create melanin. If you can control the enzyme tyrosinase, you can control the rate of melanin production. So Alpha Arbutin is a tyrosinase inhibitor that we've used for decades. Um, there's a lot of research behind it. Um, it's actually an ingredient that I put into all of my pigmentation kits for skin of color. So this is the dark circles kit, for example. This is the facial pigmentation kit for skin of color. And I use it also for our body pigmentation kit for skin of color. So Alpha Arbutin um, is probably one of my favorite tyrosinase inhibitors. And I wouldn't create a pigmentation product without that particular ingredient in it. It works well for melasma, for acne scarring, and for PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and it pairs very well with vitamin C. It also works well after you have exfoliated the skin, and actually that's quite important because a lot of ingredients don't work well after you've exfoliated the skin for skin of color because it can lead to too much irritation. But actually the irritancy profile for alpha arbutin is, is, is negligible. So actually you can apply it after you've exfoliated the skin. After you use alpha arbutin, I do recommend that you use a moisturizer with humectants in it because what you're trying to do, humectants basically are water magnets. What you're trying to do is create a healing environment for the skin. So now you've basically applied the active, you then want to seal the area so that you're getting maximum benefit. Moving on to the product section, which are your favorite alpha arbutins, Dr. V. So let's start off with the ordinary. I like the ordinary one and I like uh, the inky list. If you're in India, then I like Dermco. If you're from South Africa, I like Skin Functional. Uh, they've got a product called Mark, um, Dark Mark Management. Um, and so that's got alpha arbutin in it too. So it's a good product to use and those would be my favorites. So tranexamic acid is actually an amino acid. It's a synthetic amino acid. Um, and it's a great anti-pigmentation ingredient for sensitive skin, which is important when we're looking at skin of color. It works really well with other tyrosinase inhibitors, for example, with kojic dipalmitate. It works well with vitamin C, vitamin E, ferulic acid. Um, so lots of different actives. So the products I recommend with tranexamic acid would be good molecules, the discoloration serum, which has got tranexamic acid plus niacinamide, and also the inky list does a good one. So the big question is, can they be formulated together? So alpha arbutin has got a optimum pH. Alpha arbutin has got an optimal pH of about 3.6 to about 6.5. And tranexamic acid has got an optimal pH of about 5.5 to 6.5. So if you formulate it correctly at the correct pH, you can actually get both actives um, at their optimal pHs. 
So because tranexamic acid hasn't been used for as long as alpha arbutin, there are less studies on it. Uh, so there's not much evidence on topical tranexamic acid for pigmentation. Some studies have shown 3 to 5% tranexamic acid is effective as 2 to 4% hydroquinone, which is the gold standard. Oral tranexamic acid um, at 250 to 1,500 milligrams daily for 8 to 12 weeks um has been shown to be effective for melasma but not other forms of pigmentation um it might be more effective for redness after acne um one sh sh one study actually showed there's a reduction in pie post-inflammatory erythema after eight weeks use so pie is basically the red marks so the number one question dr v is which one is better so alpha arbutin we've had for longer we've had more studies on it um and so my preference is going to be really for alpha arbutin however tranexamic acid is an interesting ingredient uh especially if pie is the issue so say for example you're trying to treat acne um, and you have the red marks from it tranexamic acid um, can help with that too so it does really depend on what the issue is i think the other thing um that's important for you to know is that with pigmentation and skin of color, often monotherapy doesn't work. One tyrosinase inhibitor is often not enough, which is why in my pigmentation kits, I, I usually formulate with 10 tyrosinase inhibitors at the correct percentages in order to have any form of effect on pigmentation for skin of color. Because for us, not only is it easy to get pigmentation, but it's very difficult to treat pigmentation is darker and it's more stubborn plus if you cause too much inflammation while you're trying to treat the pigmentation guess what happens you get more pigmentation so actually treating pigmentation for skin of color is like walking a tightrope where you on one side need to make sure your actives are strong enough to work on stubborn pigmentation but also not too irritating that you're causing more pigmentation and this is why this is our number one problem for skincare I remember when I first started formulating for pigmentation for skin of color um, about 15 years ago in the lab and realizing there were actually hardly any studies on percentage active specifically for skin of color. And it took me five years in the laboratory of trial and error and running clinical studies to figure out which vitamin A is best for skin of color. And then once I know that, which percentage is effective for skin of color? And if I combine vitamin A with vitamin C and then alpha arbutin, is anything gonna happen? Are they gonna counteract each other? Are they gonna cause more irritation? These basic questions had not been answered until I got into the lab. And me thinking something that was gonna take me six months to create ended up taking me five years because these basic questions weren't answered. And I hope that that pain and difficult time I went through is translating into helping you be more informed with your purchasing decisions. I hope that I'm teaching you in a way that, that you can take that information, go to your local drugstore and know what to purchase and know what to avoid. Because that's really the aim of this whole channel It's not for me to you know talk through every single product in the world because products are coming out all the time we have to create a system whereby i can educate and millions of you then educate your loved ones and your children on how to read ingredients lists because no one else is going to do that for us you know it really is dependent on us looking after each other um, so I, a lot of you were part of the Dr. V Inky Hacker group on Facebook, which was such an amazing group. Unfortunately, because of the word hacker, which was probably a mistake on my part, Facebook has shut down that group. And so we created another group called Dr. V Sock Family, Skin of Color Family. And I would love if you could all join that Facebook group and just get involved with helping each other, making better purchasing decisions. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which has got two accounts, Skincare by Dr. V and Dr. Mita Ratan. Don't forget to download your free guide for Skin of Colour. Link is down below. And I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. See you next time. Bye.